What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we are back playing a little bit of Stonehearth. I think today's gonna be a fun day. I think today's gonna be a fun day and oh my god my hood has gotten stuck underneath my headphone and now I gotta move it and now I gotta be all unprofessional. Didn't mean to but it looks like unprofessionality is the word of the day. Uh, as I recall we were gonna have some problems with some wolf riders coming up I think was the thing that was taking place as of right now. I don't see any wolf riders on the map just yet. I took a minute to pan and scan around. Uh, the game did give us a warning about it, though, and I already talked with you in the previous episode about how we're going to get around that threat. But aside from that, I think we're looking pretty solid right now. I did want to go through, and I wanted to see if we had enough beds for everybody. So we have, like, what? We got, like, six beds, and then we got eight beds, nine beds, ten, eleven... 12 and 13 so we need another bed that means buildings are going to be forthcoming in this episode here today I do think it's a good idea for us to put in some walls It might be a reasonably solid idea for us to go for some freestanding walls And I don't know how much stone we're sitting on right now But I've got to assume that it's a decent amount and if we could actually get some stone walls built up I would feel a lot better about some of this stuff. I think that that can go like so I think and if I put it down like did it actually do it? Building walls can be a little bit odd in this game. Yeah, we don't have any ghosting going on. I've had trouble with walls in the past, and so sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. And so the general idea I was going for is that I was going to build a stone wall out this way and get it covered. I mean, we could build it one by one. We can build it one by one. Oh, I think it needs I think it needs a foundation. I think that's why it's not working. That's what it is. Pretty sure it's because we don't have a foundation running. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it a little three, a little two width, maybe a three width. I think a three width works. And so this is going to be a fairly large project to get done. But I think at the end of the day, it's going to work out pretty well. And it's going to be something that I think we can be proud of. And so there we go. We've got like a nice little three width wall right there. We won't have a wall on this side for right now, but in general, I'm thinking what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take this from over here and just have it connect to the water. Now, this is going to limit our access to wood supplies, but we can always climb up on the hill to get a little bit more if and when we need that kind of stuff. And then later on, I think we'll be able to plant some orchards too. And so I think that's pretty much what we were going for right there, ain't it? I'm pretty sure that's what we wanted. So if I start putting down walls, what do we have going on here? What are you doing, wall? Ah. Okay. Uh, looks like we have ourselves a nice little bug right there. So, let me go ahead, and what I'm going to do is, let me, let me reset this. We're going to go ahead and reset these little bits over here. Let me try this again. Uh, building walls is always a little bit sketchy when we go through this kind of stuff right here. Uh, this is one of those aspects of the game that I don't think has been fully and completely fleshed out yet. But what we'll do is we'll make that a three wide right there. And the worst case scenario is actually that I have to build this by hand. It'd be kind of a pain in the ass, but I'm not going to cry and weep about it. And then the general idea here... Is that we is that lined up properly? I don't know if that's lined up properly. Let me make sure that that's even on both sides. There we go. I'm gonna leave a hole in the wall right now, and you might be saying to yourself, Splattercat, why would you do that? That doesn't seem like an efficient way to protect your city. Why would there be a three wall with a hole in it? And the answer to that question, my friend, is that we might be able to do this with walls actually, like so. Maybe. It might be a simpler way to do it. And so let me go in on a wall like so. And so now we've got a palisade wall. And now roofing it's going to be a little bit odd. But I think let's go ahead and we'll make the height one. That's going to make it look weird though. So instead I can do something like that right there. That would work and then I could just give them a ladder to get up there. In fact I think that is what I'm going to do. And then as far as these walls are concerned right here, let's go ahead and make those out of stone. Because I don't want it to be looking all jank. And believe me, I know that here at the Nerd Castle we are well renowned for making things that are straight jank foo. But I'd like for everything to match. And so there it is right there. We'll get that thing built on up. And they are going to have some trouble getting up to this wall. 
here's the down shot. They're going to have trouble getting up there, but we're still going to do it. So it's only going to take 16 stones, surprisingly enough. Yeah, start that building off. Do the building, please. And then what I'd like to see is if I could get some ladders that would go up to there. If I could get a ladder that goes up to there. And then we will put a ladder in... Ooh, it's not going to do it until I get that baseline level down. Okay, that's fine. Do your thing, then. Do your thing, little hearthlings. I'm sure... Did I say stone hearth or hearthstone at the beginning of the game? Hmm. It's those confusing things that I'm never quite sure what I said. Uh, we were also being attacked by a lot of gobos before we started this thing off. And so, as I recall, we have a number of guards who are actually KO'd during the entire process. And we're waiting for them to feel a little bit better. We are increasing the beautification of our city by putting lanterns on everything. Uh, we do have... Oh, those invaders aren't bad. I can live with that. That's not bad at all. I was going to say, dude, we can't have invaders right now. If we have, like, full-on goblin invasions at the moment, it is going to be rough. They should be able to, like, one-shot these, though. This should not be a problem at all. So there it is. All taken care of. This is more than likely... Oh, there's actually one of those things over here, too. Okay. That's a problem, and I don't like it, and we don't really have enough to fight this thing effectively. But hopefully healing goes through. I don't know. We just haven't gotten a break in this playthrough. That's the biggest part that I would put in right there is that we just have not gotten a break. We've had an attack almost every single day the entire game. And it has really worn us down with attrition. Um, I've never seen that happen before in all the time I've played this game. I've never seen it happen where you get attacked every single night without fail. But we're going to have to live with it. You know, we're going to have to live with it. And we're going to have to work around it. So I'm going to buy a couple of cloths. If I have anything else laying around, too, that we can get rid of to make a little bit of extra money, I don't think I have a problem with that. Uh, we do have a chest right there. We don't have any masterwork goods, though, that are standing out and being super sexy to my eye. It's a possibility I could take the giant bone axe and sell that to make a little bit of money, but, ah, goblin thieves, even better. So here comes some goblin thieves. The nice thing about goblin thieves is they shouldn't stand their ground and fight. Uh, they might, but when they get hit, they tend to run away, and so your ranged characters tend to do okay with them. If we can get a couple of their emblems before we go too much further. I'm slightly concerned they're going to trap themselves inside the walls. But we're going to have to wait and see on that one. I don't know exactly. Sometimes the AI does dumb stuff. Sometimes the AI does okay stuff. And so we'll see what it decides that it wants to do. I don't know what our food stocks are looking like right now. Uh, we got our quest for a township over there. As far as everybody's health goes, he's almost a level 2 archer. What happens when he hits higher levels of archer? What does he get? He gets increased draw strength, so he gets damage. We got armor piercing arrows. Okay, fantastic. Let me slow the game down for just a moment. We're going to go to our crafting menu. And let me see what my herbalist has gotten himself up to this last little bit. He can make coarse bandages. I think that's a pretty good idea. And I'm going to tell him to maintain five in inventory. Uh, I think that's a really good idea. Then we're going to take that right there. We're going to drag it down. And we're just going to make sure we always have five band-aids. And so whenever that comes back up, he's going to have band-aids. So he'll be able to run in and band-aid people. And it looks like our militia is back up and ready to go. Assuming they can get some of those some decent meals. I think we might be able to pull through this. Maybe. Now that we have archers, things are looking a little bit better. As far as crafting goes, what kind of bows can I make that would actually be a lot better for my archers? Can I do anything there? Like, I would love to have a much better bow. So with the archer's bow right there, we have to have that basic bow in order to get it going. But if we had two leathers right there, we could actually make recurve bows. Now, those require level 3 archers. However, that does increase their attack pretty considerably. I think the attack on the regular archer's bow is like 16 or 20 damage. And so doubling that damage up, I think is a good call. I think is a real good call. We should also look into people's moods, and we should see why they're all bummed out. So they got tasty meals. Uh, most of it seems to be they're tired, and they feared for their lives. So what are you going to do about that one? Sometimes you got to fear for your life when you're making a little colony out in the middle of nowhere. Just the way life goes. Sometimes you're the stick, sometimes you're the horse, I guess. And it looks like today we're definitely going, nay, as enemies run up on us and decide to make our lives very, very difficult. Uh, as far as our storage goes, how's our storage looking? Is our storage full up or are we looking solid over here? Dude, we've got so much storage. That's exactly what I like to see. And so lots and lots of storage for the future. I think it's a reasonably decent idea that we can just kill off that stockpile and they can spend their time moving stuff into there just to make it work a little bit better. We've got a bandage sitting right there. I'm hoping we can get some heals off, especially on the people that are a little bit more wounded than others. And make no mistake, these guys, Rowan Nonak, for example, is a very leveled up warrior. Like, he's in bad shape, but he hits really hard. Um, I'm hoping 
he'll go put gear on. I'm hoping he'll go put gear on because he's actually just rocking a wooden sword right now. And I don't think that's a good look for him. If he would put on like some armor or something like that, I feel like we'd have a much better chance at pulling through this. We still have some loot laying over here. In fact, that's mostly their loot that's on the ground. We have goblins on this side. They are going to start building a camp over here. We'll take care of that momentarily. We're not going to take care of that right now, but we will take care of it at one point or another. Are those actually stone walls? Oh, they're wood on the inside. Okay, that's cool. You know, they're stony on the outside, but they're wood on the inside. I'm sure it'll be okay. As far as all this goes, let's have them get back to their designated areas. And really what I'll try to do is I'll try to put the archers up on the wall. I think we can designate patrol points uh, that'll make our lives a little bit easier. So we've got Trippy, Bendel, Triple, or Trippy. What are you good at? What What is your skill set, Trippy? Oh, you are a garbage character. Okay, useful for pretty much nothing aside from shoving food into her face and also just stacking bricks the entire game. So that's what we'll use her at. On the plus side, getting her as a worker does free up some of the more... Well, actually, we've got a pretty good draft, or we've got a pretty terrible draft of characters right now to play with, and that's not something that brings me a lot of joy. Nonetheless, we'll do what we can in order to make it work. He's over here probably making more... He's got increased health regeneration. Oh, yeah. Okay, so he's got increased health regeneration. Good for him. Good for you, buddy. Uh, Ezra Jovel has finally hit level two, so she's got, or he's got a little bit more HP. As far as his job goes, how does that help? So medical prowess increases. Ooh, level three is the one that we want. That's the one that we want. And then, so herbalist channels the spirits of the forest and gets natural regeneration. Interesting. Okay, not my favorite, but it'll have to do for right now. Going over to gather some flowers and make sure the rest of this stuff is working. It looks like our wall is moving along. I'm a little bit concerned about that lip that's going to be up there. I'm pretty sure this place is going to give me a little bit of lip, and they may have trouble getting over the lip once it gets there. But for right now, this is just going to have to do. It's pretty much the best that we got going for us. Once we've got a wall, I should be able to put people on top of it. I'll put patrol zones on the walls so that like during the day when my warriors are patrolling they'll always be on the wall then the archers will have the high ground too to fire at anything that comes in as the warriors go out and tank it uh, I think that's oh actually they did okay right there I thought they were gonna mess that up but they didn't I thought they were gonna mess it up but they didn't hell yeah time to build ourselves the noblest and most regal of walls I'm excited about this I think it's gonna look good I think it's gonna look really good and with six people working on it I think it's gonna turn we have panting refugees there are wolves in the woods. Run away while you still can. There are wolves in the wood? Where's the wolves in the woods? Oh, yeah, there they are. Okay. A couple of goblin warriors over here. So if we can kill Crew the Flange, he's the one that we want to get so that all the rest will lose their effectiveness. As far as our guardsmen go, how are we looking on that front? So he's got the armor back on or she's got the armor back on. Are all of my warriors looking a little bit better, or are you guys still a little bit messed up? I think they're probably still a little bit messed up, but... What are you going to do about it, you know? What are you going to do about it? We're in a rough spot right now, so we got two warriors. Rowan, how are you looking? Are you alright? Uh, your health is decent. A lot of this is going to come down to if I can trigger a fight over here. Oof, that's a rough one. We'll bring you guys over here. So let's go ahead and rally the troops. I need to get rid of this camp as soon as possible is really the big problem that we're facing at the moment. If I don't get rid of this camp, what'll happen is they'll train these wolves, and the wolves Toothy chases the sky, and Cliffy the frothing. Apparently he's an especially frothy individual. So we've got a warrior over here. He still hasn't put on any armor. Let's go ahead and get some tanking going here. Actually, that guy got laid out, so that's good. That's really good. In fact, that's completely and totally fantastic. Uh, you guys go over there and handle your business on this side. Oh, the wolves actually attack you now. Interesting. The last time I played, the wolves were confined. The wolves were not released instantaneously the last time I played. So this represents kind of an interesting problem. If I can get them to focus their fire, I think that would go better. But yeah, this isn't the way this played out the last time I played the game. The wolves were stuck inside the pen until 
a certain time, and then after that point, they became trained and they would attack you. At this point, it seems like they've actually just sort of jumped to the fence over here and done their thing. I don't know what to say about that. I really sincerely don't. There's a lot of strange things happening in this playthrough that are, quite frankly, a little bit different from what we experienced uh, during some of our other playthroughs. Some very interesting situations. So, yip yip, ah woo! The escaping wolves bust on out and do their thing. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Are you guys stuck on the wall like a bunch of idiots? What's happening over here? How has this gone down? An armed goblin. Yeah, but he's not, like, that dangerous. He's not that dangerous. Are you stuck? I'm a-thinking she might be stuck. What I need to do, then, is we'll need to put in a new ladder. Like, right there. There we go. She didn't have a way to get to the scaffolding. Is the problem that we ran into on that side. This dude should take some pretty serious damage. Because he doesn't have a war chief or anything else with him. So he should go down almost instantly. And now we've got ourselves kitted up for war. He more than likely came from this camp over here. We'll keep our eyes out for any more goblin war parties. Hopefully my warriors can get healed up before things get any more live. And then other things we're going to want to think about is we actually sort of want to promote from inside. So if I've got any farmers over here that are high level, what we want to do with them is we want to change their job and we want them to become cooks so that we can get better food. That will also help out with our healing as far as I know. But we don't have a mason spoon to make that work. So let's get a mason spoon. There's a mason spoon. My suggestion would be that we take one of our remedial individuals and we turn them into a new farmer. But we'll do that after we promote our old farmer, after she gets the piece of equipment she needs in order to do her job. Uh, the building's going up right here. Cool. Uh, they are able to get down off of it. There is our first little chunk of wall right there. Our first little chunk of wall is all ready to go. And then what we'll do is we need to destroy that ladder, and then we'll put up a ladder on the back side to help them get up and into a defensive position. It's either that, or I can install a staircase to get up there. I'll decide whichever one looks better to me, but for right now, I'm happy with the way that they've gone about their business. Have they finished the other part of the wall, or are they just not even going to do that? Because they're going on to harvest berries right now. And this slightly concerns me. Health appears to be back up and rolling on our individuals here, which is great. Uh, is my other archer sleeping? I was going to say, where's my other archer right now? I think the other problem we're running into is our herbalist is maybe sleeping when she needs to be healing people. No, he's right there. I don't know. Let's promote a farmer. Let's go ahead and promote a farmer. So, Maggie... You are going to be a cook. Sehr gut. And so now that we have a new cook, we're going to take one of these people over here. Maybe Jem Odessa. We'll take Jem Odessa. And as soon as that job is assigned, she should drop the hoe. And once she drops the hoe, she'll be able to be a new farmer. Yay. Moving things along ever so slightly. The next thing I would suggest is that we start getting some of these basic things in order. So I need a stone cauldron. And I need a stone mill grinder. Until she's level 2, she's not going to be able to make that right there. However, we can make cornmeal. We can make eggs. And we can make some other little things around here. We can make like, uh, yeah, we can make some vegetable stew. I think that's a good idea. Just make sure that we have a constant rotation of vegetable stew going on. And then we can also get a wheat bundle. Good for efficiently storing yo meat. Okay, let me get some rabbit feed and some other stuff. But I'm thinking the vegetable stew is the one that we're going to want to get done. And so let me close this menu down right here, and then I'm going to queue the order, and I'm going to say to maintain at least 20 of those in our inventory for right now. Sounds like a really good plan to me. Now, we don't have any of the objects we need in order to craft that stuff, but we will momentarily. I'm sort of just waiting on the crafting to happen for right now. Our archer is almost fully healed up. That sounds fantastic. Do we have a blacksmith? I think for the forest people, becoming a blacksmith requires that you be a mason first, I think. So, she's a level 4 mason. No, a potter. We actually start with blacksmiths right from the beginning. Unfortunately, we don't really have anybody suitable to be a blacksmith. I could make Wind Odessa do it. Uh, Wind Odessa is a possibility. But for right now, how come this is not happening over here? How come you guys did like the first part of this and not like the second part? I wish I had a prioritize like now button. So I could be like, hey, go do this thing right this second. Did they put in the ground at least? They didn't even put in the ground. Hmm. Without canceling the whole thing, 
which I don't really want to do. Ah, they were two separate buildings. Well, there you go. Start building then. I forgot to finalize. That was all my fault. I knew there was something wrong right there. I just couldn't piece together what it was. I knew there was something going wrong right there. Very rarely is it actually the game's fault. That would be the fair warning that I would give you, is that like 90% of the time when I'm trying to figure out what's going wrong, it's almost always that I've forgotten to click and or finalize something. And that's usually where I run into issues. Over on this side, I do need some people to farm a little bit more. Go ahead and continue mining out the mountain over here too, because we are going to need some more stone. We're going to need some more things to file around on. Uh, somebody's telling a sob story over here. Have you been tended to recently? Hmm, it looks like the archers have been tended to, but nobody else has. And so maybe we just got to wait for that rotation to go down. On this side, we got two little goblins set up. Let me get rid of slice mode and make sure that there's not any goblin camps around. We've got a big zombie over there with a treasure chest. Not going to utilize him for right now because I feel he's actually acting as a border guard for us. One thing that you want to keep in mind is that if enemies hit him, they'll have to fight him first. And he's not actually as scary as he looks. He's actually a big softy of like a anybody want a peanut variety. Like he's actually not that bad. So I wouldn't stress about it too heavily. I would not stress about it too heavily. That building is paused. We need some more stone in order to make the rest of it get done. But I'm happy with it. Like, if we can get a wall up and running within the next couple episodes, I don't think we're going to have too much to worry about. I really don't. I really sincerely don't. I'll go ahead and harvest off the remainder of those berries. We haven't picked up a lot of the treasure that's laying around out here either. But the truth of the matter is, most of our guys have been kind of fixated on building over the last little bit anyways. And so why stress about it? Let's speed the game on up. Is that a three space or is that a two space? I'm assuming it's going to work just fine. We'll have to put in another ladder just like we did on this side too. Why do I have somebody out here who's swimming? Arwen North Point is apparently swimming. Why are you swimming? Uh, while they handle the threat over there, apparently I need a ladder that goes into the water in order to fix this up. These guys are being pretty much dunked on right now. Can't change that around much, but I do have archers now, which allows me to get preemptive damage off, which is always a really good thing. And I do think our DPS has gone up by a bit. I don't think a Varanus is really going to be able to get a whole lot done against our guys. Like, one wedge worth of health is not anything to be terrified about. Although right there, it looked like his super attack didn't actually stick. Hmm. Y'all better take care of him. It's going to get ugly before it gets better, man. It's going to get ugly before it gets better. And then I may just wall us off, in all honesty. I may just wall us off. We got a trader over here. So he wants 17 wooden doors in two days. He'll give me fine, comfy beds. Dude, I'm not going to make 17 doors. That's way too many doors. Why do I need that many doors? That's like a that's doors of an absurd quantity, and I feel like it's far, far too much doors. Oh, we've got our pot over there. Do we finish off our... Other piece of equipment. Yeah, there it is right there. We got our little grinder. Perfect. And so she should be loading that in. I think if we make cooked food, that'll give us a bonus to healing as well. A message on an arrow appears. Goblin wolves are trained to attack on command. Free them before that command is issued and you can sleep easy tonight. The one who watches you. Okay. Does that mean we have more wolves to deal with? Ah, yes. We've got further goblins. Stew them in the castle. Okay. We'll deal with that, and then I think that'll basically be the end of our little time here. Yeah, I think the wolves are bugged out. They're staying on the wall right now. So what's supposed to happen is the wolves are supposed to be trapped inside of there. The wolves are not trapped inside of there right now. And so unfortunately, I think we've caught a bug. Um, I don't know exactly what to call it. But it seems like it might be a bug of some sort. Ooh, he's using that big axe now. Yep, he's got that two-hander. He's going to take a defense hit on that one, though. I may need to rotate people around and give them different jobs and just allow these guys to have time to heal. That's the other part that I'm a little bit terrified of is that, like, I could probably assign you to be a warrior. It's going to hurt our workflow a little bit, but it'll give us another person to fight on the front lines should we need it. And so I think the wolves are spawning outside of the cage. Because the last time I played this, they were in the cage and they couldn't get out. They would just sit there while you fought the goblins. And now it seems like they're already out and free. And that's turning this into a, a massive issue. 
is turning it into a problem, no lie, but we'll try to sort it in the next episode. Hi to everybody, and I will see you later. This is Stonehearth. I hope you guys have liked it so far. Bye-bye, and I'll see you in future iterations.